Hi everyone, this is Conrad Barsky or Lisparati on Twitter. I just wanted to give a quick development update on my game for the Playdate console. So this right here is a Playdate. Um, it's known for having a uh, little crank on the side. And I'll show you my uh, a demo of my game here, uh, my game engine. So you have a very uh, complex player character that can take different shapes and you can use the crank to move the player character around in different directions. Um, and uh, you, have, you have a variety of locomotion options. Um, and uh, depending on where your legs are, uh, you'll see that the, the motion changes uh, into different forms. Um, so what I wanted to do today is just show you a little bit of what I'm working on at the moment. So since you, your body plan can change because you can turn the crank to move your legs uh, either on top of your body or below your body or over to the side. It means that there is really no sense of up or down in the game. And it makes sense to make the legs sticky so that you can climb up walls. And I'll show you a little bit of the challenges I'm dealing with with that. Uh, I should mention this is a game written in Zig. Uh, so there's not a lot of Zig games at the moment, but uh, Zig is a great choice for the play date because um, it has a very good low level performance. Um, so let me just show you my uh, game engine here right now. Uh, here is a simplified version of my player character just with two legs and a round body. And you can see I can uh, walk around uh, with my uh, cursor keys or I can uh, rotate using the crank. Now, um, as I said, you can now go up to a wall and you can walk up that wall. So the legs will make contact and I can go up the wall. And I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the issues with this. Now, um, one uh, element that's going to be very important in the game is that you will be able to uh, move into tight crevices. And because uh, there will be power-ups that will change the configuration and size of your player character over time, I want to make sure that the engine is very sophisticated in terms of being able to detect if you fit into a narrow crevice. So the way the game handles locomotion is that when you uh, uh, are uh, attached with your feet to some sort of polygon in the game engine, it uh, basically breaks the uh, motion or the position of the player character to two steps. One is that the body makes contact to the uh, wall or uh, ground that you're on. And then a second step is that the body gets lifted by your legs. And depending on how narrow a crevice is that you're in, will control uh, how high your body will be able to lift up. So that way, if you get to a narrow crevice, the game engine will automatically um, crouch your character to fit into a tight space. Um, so uh, I'm going to just disable the uh, lifting of the legs for a second so we can see what happens um, with the legs with the body in a completely crouched position. So uh, because it makes it easier to understand uh, some of the other uh, locomotion aspects of the game. So right now the player character is uh, fully crouched. So you can see if I walk now, it looks a little bit goofy. Um, so now um, you can see I'm going up the wall and I can keep going up this wall. Now, of course, the problem is, is that my lower leg is now gonna start uh, no longer having contact with the floor. So what happens at that point is that I basically get stuck because um, uh, you need two points of contact in order to be able to climb a wall. So in this case, what I need to do is I need to rotate my body so that uh, both legs can make contact with the wall at the same time. This means every time I come up against a crevice, I have to re-rotate my body with the crank in order to um, continue climbing. Um, now, one thing that's important in any game is uh, if a player uh, is having difficulty doing some action in your game, you want to make them feel like it's their fault that the action isn't working and, it, and not that it's some kind of fault uh, or bug inside the game that is preventing them from doing what they want to do. If they think it's a bug, then uh, that's just frustrating. Um, so, uh, and I kind of feel this like this uh, locomotion is kind of a bug because uh, it's just very awkward to have to constantly rotate your body every time you want to go around a corner. Um, so, uh, so I realized what I could do is use the uh, the angle of the polygons as you're moving a, along a surface to um, 
auto rotate the player body to uh, uh, match uh, the the uh, surface that they're on. So uh, uh, I'm going to now enable the code that does that. Um, and let me put the uh, I'll put the uh, uh, the leg lifting uh, logic in there again. So it looks a little more natural. Uh, so now um, here is the new code I just wrote today. Um, now, if I start climbing up the wall, notice I'm now my legs are now uh, both uh, equally uh, facing the ground. And if I if I head towards this wall, you can see now uh, the feet are facing at an angle towards the slanted wall and I can keep going up. And if I go up to the ceiling uh, without me having to do any rotation, just using the uh, the touchpad on the uh, console, uh, I could get all the way to a uh, an upside down position on the ceiling and I can keep going here and this actually gets tricky because if you get to a corner like this uh, there are situations where you can fall down and uh, and I've been able to uh, uh, resolve some of that by um, making it so that the uh, logic detects um, if it does do auto rotation uh, if if the auto rotation will force a leg to stop making contact and it allows you to navigate these kinds of corners, even on the ceiling. Uh, now there are certain corners that are so steep that you can't navigate around them. So this corner is too steep. And with my algorithm right now, there's, there's simply no way I can get around that corner. If I try before I make contact, um, it will uh, basically um, cause me to, to fall to the ground. Um, and you are able to, uh, to jump and, uh, Onto, an, onto a wall um, if you have one leg up in the air like this and make contact. But you always have to have two, uh, you have to have two legs up, uh, of, you always have to have two points of contact if you want to be able to um, climb a wall. So let me see if I can just connect with one. There we go. So now I'm connected with just one foot. But if, if the moment, if I only have one foot on here, the moment I uh, try to move, uh, I will lose contact and that makes sense because you would expect in order to be able to walk on the ceiling You would always need to have two points of contact um, So anyway, so that's currently what I'm working on with my game engine um, and uh, uh, Hopefully uh, I will put out another video uh, in the future uh, That will show off a little more of what my game engine is capable of